Hello, beautiful readers. Today is October 30th, and I have finished reading Truth and Dare, 20 Tales of Heartbreak and Happiness, compiled by Liz Miles. Uh, this book I was given by Kate Linnea over at Twitter. She was hosting a contest once upon a time ago uh, with the Demon's Covenant, I believe, coming out. And I already owned the whole thing. Um, the whole trilogy at the time. So I, this was the only other thing Sarah Reese Brennan had been published in at the time. So her short story in here is entitled The Young Stalker's Handbook. And it is just a fun, cute little story. There's two girls in a music store who one of them see somebody she thinks she knows and kind of has a crush on. But, of course, true to teenage fashion, she doesn't just go say hi. She stalks them a little bit. And so there's a little adventure along the way of the stalking. And it turns out to be really fun and cute. I really enjoyed it as just a fun little story to read. Um, other stories in this book were, um, like, the first one, Girl Jesus on the Inbound Subway by Matthew Roth, was really an unexpected twist. It's a really romancy, like a boy on a subway um, going to go pay rent for his family, and you get some backstory as he's traveling. And there's a really big twist in the end as to who this girl is. So it was a really unexpected, fun read. I really got into it. And then the other story in here that I really, really enjoyed was Pencils by Sarah Wilkinson. And it was all from an autistic boy's point of view. He uh, is obsessed with pencils. He likes pencils and symmetry and things like that. And so it's all of the story is from him trying to deal with life as a high schooler. And it, you get pieces of, like, he has a really crappy life. But it's all from his point of view, so that stuff doesn't matter. As long as he has his eggs and his pencils, he's good to go. Uh, so it's a really fun story from the autistic point of view, and there's really random twists that I totally wasn't expecting. So it was really an awesome read that way. The other stories in this book, um, some of them were decent, some of them were kind of eh. Um, there was one in particular that was all in Twitter speak. Not so much, not my bag of tea. Uh, it was pretty bad. I couldn't get through it. I got about a page in, and I was like, I'm going to go insane if I try to read this. So, no, I'm not going to go there. But there are enough stories in here, and they're mostly romancy, romantic kind of thing, or at least teenager coming-of-age kind of stuff. And it would be good for, like, Oral and Herp. If you were looking for a piece, this book would be a good place to possibly look at. Um, but otherwise, it's fun if you like shorter stories, kind of romancy, and you don't mind skipping. Like, it kind of bothers me that I skipped a couple of the stories, but if you don't mind that, if you don't like it, it's a really good book to read, and really fast if you just want, like, a quick little, I'm going to read a short story in, you know, a few minutes, what have you. Um, so I recommend it, with the caveat that there's some in here that aren't so good, but definitely the one by Sarah Reese Brennan was fantastic, and the other two that I mentioned. Uh, but anyway, I'm moving on. I'm currently reading The Piano Teacher by um, Janice, um, Janice Lee. It's interesting. Uh, but otherwise, if you have any other comments, suggestions, questions, put them below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day, and keep reading.